Welcome back, everybody. Dren 608 plays. We're playing Warhammer 40k. Uh, Rogue Trader here. I'm about to get into a battle where I'm going to basically get my head handed to me. I think. I don't think I'm. Maybe I'm better than I think I am at this. But there's a whole lot of bad things going to happen to me here. There's a bunch of guys over here that I can't even touch. Uh, Specialist and a couple of armored bandits. There's a bunch of schmucks back here, but the big things are these combat servitors are coming with uh, melta guns. So they are going to be a problem. And these are just like melee servitors. So we got to see what we can do here. We're going to start up the battle and see what happens. It's going to be me, then Argenta. So we're going to start the battle and see what we can do. Alright, first thing I need to do is I need to voice of command Argenta. Oh, if not me. Um, I need to set my front line like I guess right there. My goat tells me it's a bad idea. But I can't see it. Okay, I've got to... I guess I have to move to here. I don't need luck. I have strategy. And I need to set... I'll see to it personally. And then this is the one that gives us cover efficiency and dodge. This is the one that I have to make sure gets set, like, right here. So Argenta gets extra shooting this percentages. That's the rear. And then this one I'm going to set right over here by her. I've been trying to figure out, is there a way that you can... Turn it? Doesn't seem to be a way to turn the thing. It's like it's going to be in this thing. You can't turn it like lengthwise. Which is what I really would have wanted to do. But be that as it may, we're going to put it right next I'll to the other one. Happen. Okay. So now I have a couple points left. I'm going to let Argenta Take her shots. Because she's going to go again. And then you're just going to shoot down range. Oh, I could have her throw a grenade. She could throw a grenade up here. No, she can do that during her turn because it's free. What the hell is this? What is this? Did I blow up something I shouldn't have blown up? Oh dear, I'm in trouble. Um, she can move as well? wasn't planning on her moving. Why does she have all this movement? She shouldn't have this movement. Alright, now I've got one point left. So I could... can either shoot this guy to give him some more hit points. OK, 
guess that's I'll what I'll do. Personally. Keep him down by 25. I'm done. Now Argenta. Four stacks of versatility. I don't think she has any. Just one stack. Okay, so... First thing she can do is she can just throw a grenade. Like right there. Be nice if she could get more than one thing with a grenade. Uh, I think she's just going to throw the grenade there because it's free. Do a little bit of damage to that. A little bit of damage to the cover. It's down to 41. Um, she's just going to go ahead and shoot down range. It's down to 18. She can't really do... Anything else? Uh, she's not going to get anything out of that momentum. She doesn't need to reload yet. Um, I guess she's done. This thug moves up. Let's get to it. Real Quick attacks. Now. Let's make it quick. Let's go. So this is corroding armor over here. Pascal was going to move. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can he hit that guy with this machine spirit thing? Or does he have to move up more? He might have to move up to here. Oh god, does he have to move all the way up to here? I guess he might have to move all the way to here. And then I want him to do an exploit on him. And I want him to do his machine spirit thingy on him. Some damage on him. Um, shot it there. If I shoot it there, it doesn't do anything. But if I shoot it like here, I could get this guy too. Oh, I can't shoot there. I have to actually shoot at somebody, huh? Then I might as well just shoot this guy here. Only gonna do 8 to 12 on him? 
Boy, that's sad. Well, I could end that servitor. Then this guy's just gonna come out and melt at us. I think I have to do that. It's not enough. Um, I can throw a grenade. I should have done this. Because I could have done this and then this and then done the attack. I would have done more damage. I'm just not doing this right. Alright, Pascal, you're basically done. Now well, they get to go. Hitman's gonna come out and shoot. Here we go. Just getting totally. Let's get to it. And we're just getting totally wiped here. All right, Cassia, you got to do some things here. You got to save two points to do this. to walk through this terrible armor stuff. You go there, and then you do this. You can get a lot of people. Okay, before you do that, This is one point, and this is one point, right? Okay. So we're going to want to... To deal four, I'm going to take tactical advantage. And then she's going to... Voice of command if him. Then she's gonna do this on him. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Then you're going to do this like this way. See how many of them you can do some damage. Okay. Servitor over here, combat servitor here, armored bandit, bandit hitman. And hun, that's all you can do. Just gonna get hit. Core is gonna come up. You should be able to take some shots, Core. He didn't do anything. He just sits back here. Okay, Adira. What can you do? Throw a stack on him. But of course. And I 
thinking of putting this on him. This takes two AP, so then she can move up into this gunk. Can't do a lot of damage to these guys. Okay. Um. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I really hate what to move up there, but you gotta move up there, hunt. Stop it. I know, you take damage. I can't do anything about it. Um, foreboding's two. Forewarning is one. Alright, we're gonna do that. Hold on! Fuck! Let's make it quick! What the hell? Okay, now I'm really riled up. Adira went down. We're all stunned, I guess. The minor setback. We're all stunned. We can't do anything. Let's get to Feel cold. Living on the edge. Okay, Abelard finally gets a turn and he's like almost dead. The first thing he's got to do is heal himself. Field medicine at its finest. So I have to charge him. I will do my duty. Oh. I suffered worse. And then... All I can do is this. It will be done. It's not enough. So then I have to do this. No breach. matter the cost! So we're gonna do one attack here. Victory is then we have to move up here. What else have we got back here? Bandit Hitman here. I can get three attacks in here. Maybe two attacks and another heal. Brace yourself, Avalard. I'm not interested. Can't do it. Okay. All I can do is hit him. For five? Oh dear. At your beck and target well struck. I will do my duty. Uh doing very much there. We're all like dead. We're all like dead dead. There, I didn't see that. Oh, damn it! I didn't realize that was there. Shoot! I would have taken this one out. He 
he's gonna go next. I'm screwed. Oh, this is very bad. Very, very bad. A tactically sound approach. And bye bye, Alabar. You're dead. And Adira's dead, Abelard's dead. Everybody's frickin' dead. This one has seven. I can probably take it down. Except I'm gonna take damage. And I'm gonna fall. Alright. Taking calculated risk is in my second nature. Uh. I will compromise my principles. Damn. I take damage. My exit strategy will remain unused. Emperor That's protect screwed. the fallen. Done, Argenta. So reload your gun, die with a loaded worthless. gun. And he's down. Everybody's down. Blessed are those who sacrifice <laughs> for the Imperium. This Let's is not the way to fight this battle. dying. Cassia can't do enough. She can't do enough. Yeah. Okay. Now that I know what this is going to be like. She can go and attack him. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around.
Dang it. That is foolishness. Step aside. The navy is coming. Yeah, he's untouched. He's not stunned. Are you stunned? How about you? Are you stunned? Nope, you're not stunned, so you're just gonna kill Cassia. Cause I have nobody left. Isn't this a job for the Serbs? Okay, she's done. Uh, too bad I never leave debts unpaid. Stacks do you have? 24. We're going to move back to here. Why can't she move there? What's in her way? Oh, okay. I'm going to have her move back to here. And she should be able to do that that way. Okay. Before she does that, she's going to do this. She's going to move here. And then she's going to press the advantage. And she's going to eye out this way. Not enough. Can she? Nope, none of these guys are close enough. that on herself. And there's nothing else she can do. She's just gonna get hit and die. Watch my back. Never cross a Kazbali. Yep, it takes me out. Oh she dodged again. Surrender has how many points left? Seven. Okay. And she has fourteen of these. And this says get four percent additional, so that'd be forty a whole lot of more. We gotta take care of this guy back here, I think. Oh, man, this is bad. Can she reach him if she gets to here? Is 
she can eye him. Okay, so she's gonna do this. Be careful not to cross my gaze. And she's gonna do this. And then she's gonna do this on herself again. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. That's all she can can she do this on Jay? How's Jay? Nope, I can't do that on anybody, so I'm done. Get away with another dodge. All done. They're not doing any damage to him. Here we go. Okay, so now she's going to, he's got two left. So if I move back here, and I can just throw a force grenade at him and that should take him out, right? Isn't this a job for the serfs? As duty demands. Oh my god. Okay, everybody move right. Where the hell is everybody? Shut up and get moving, Cora. We need to open the passage into the tunnels and let our guys in, Jay, on your single. I've got to heal people up. Dash makes dare to touch something from the cargo. <sighs> Two, three, five. Thank the exalted one. These ash mags didn't have time to make off with anything yet. Containers emblazoned with the markings for some unknown freight operator, then smiles and touches the comm bead in her ear. Give me two minutes, Shireen. I'll send the coordinates to my loyal crew who will deliver my property somewhere safe. And done. She removes her hand from her ear and turns to you. We're good. Now, how about we relocate to a more pleasant private space to discuss the details of our deal, specifically payment for your efforts. Are you going to leave your priceless cargo here unattended? Nothing to worry about. After all the ruckus we've just caused here, I doubt anyone will go anywhere near the containers. I am, however, infinitely flattered by your concern for my, now our, property. Stop right there in the name of the liege. The gaunt, pale-skinned man in gray and clerical robes glances at you and immediately falls to his knees. But in your excellency, please forget my vehemence. Moondran says that I never expected to encounter such an eminent person in this corner of football. Most noble excellency purses her lips slightly and shoots you a confused look. I am Vladimir Tucker's personal agent. The man hesitates, choosing his carefully. I came here to remove from criminal circulation the shipment history of which is banned in the lands of footfall, the horrendous Xeno heresy that has been fraudulently delivered to a bastion of the Holy Imperium. He looks at Jay. I do not doubt for a moment, most noble Dren Secretary, that your presence here there is a standard brought about by another's manipulation. I have succeeded. It is too great a coincidence that the Legion's representative should arrive in the Shadow Quarters just after Jay has recovered her rightful spoils. It seems that the guards reported the problems with the shipment over the box, and not to just anyone, but to Legion's personal agent. Vladimir Takara knew about the shipment from the start and planned to take it for himself. And get rid of Jay if he could. Behold the grubby, underhanded struggle between cold traders. Had, had not been for your impromptu deal struck in the bar, Vladimir might have succeeded. You're absolutely right. I have nothing to do with this shipment or the woman standing next to it. Jay Hedere, the owner of this cargo, is presently under my protection, under a rogue trader's protection. Tell your master that he should think twice before crossing her from now on. The cargo belongs to Von Valencia's dining room. Lord Terra is trying to encroach upon the property of his rogue trader. Ah, uh, we'll stand up for Jay. Probably a bad thing to do. I tell him that I'm not mad, but I will be collecting the debt sometime. Can I please heal myself? 
Wish I could see Vladimir's face when he finds out he almost stepped on the toes of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse. I'm really sorry about this confusion. Vladimir and I have had our difficulties, but I never thought he'd want to clean me out and do away with me in some dark corner. At least not so soon. If you hadn't agreed to our deal, Sherman, my gang, and I would really be floating in orbit around one of the footfalls asteroids. <sighs> uh, I'll be merciful and give you a choice, heretic. You can atone for your deplorable crimes against the Imperium through your service to House von Valencius, or you can die where you stand. <laughs> I'll take what we agree to, but I never want to see you again. A rogue trader could use someone with your talents and connections, Jay. I would like to see you in my retinue and tell you about my business and first of all the truth of it. Don't leave anything out. Uh, but can I recruit her? Exalted one, bless you and your entire dynasty. I wouldn't say no to marketing on the occasion properly. Every day you mark on a brilliant new business partnership. Gives you a look of reproach. You sully the one bless his name by inviting people like her into your retinue. Lord Captain, the decision is yours, but do not be surprised if unsavory rumors start to spread on footfall. It is a strange circle you are forming around yourself, Rogue Trader. Sister Regenera gives her an almost lecherous once-over. I heard all about your deeds on Footfall, but I never would have guessed there was an angelic beauty behind all the idle gossip. And while we're at it, Shireen, when you were going to reveal your true identity to me. I'm infinitely flattered by your attention, but if I had known I was talking to a Rogue Trader, not an envoy of one, I would have shown some decorum. Hardly forthcoming, neither has been completely honest. Guilty as charged. You're right on that one, so I guess I'm in no position to criticize. Entirely willing to join your retinue. From now on, my knowledge and expertise are entirely at your disposal. If you're interested in a rather lucrative offer, one that can't give the bonus to protect your leg up, I'd say now isn't the time to be, to think, be thinking about such things, but once we get back to your ship, perhaps you could spare me a minute, Shereen. Profit factor gain, too. That's what I was looking for. Uh, no, she just goes back to the ship. I don't need her. I need to go. I have injuries to take care of. Okay. All right. I need to pause. I need to get Abelard. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. <sighs> the healing is much appreciated. And then I need to get Abelard again to do Pascal. Let me help. Integrity factor. And then he needs to do me. This wound will make a fine scar. I owe you a debt. Crippled leg, too late. Broken ribs, too late. Okay, we gotta go back to our ship. Alright, we're gonna put a cut in here. Um, we're gonna get out of here. We'll loot the bodies. Get out of here, and uh, we're gonna have to go back to our ship. Um, and then come back and deal with the... Uh, the den because I can't go with a crippled leg and broken ribs. This was a much bigger, nastier battle than I expected. So I'm in a world of hurt right now. And I think I've pissed off the guy who runs football. But I really don't care. I gave him a gift of free food and then he's doing this kind of shenanigans. So we're getting ourselves into all sorts of political trouble here. And the only reason why I took Jay is because um, her knowledge, I will use it to protect us rather than like take advantage of it. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up losing people uh, because of her, but I really don't care at this point. I'm just trying to figure out how the game runs. I'll play it again, uh, possibly do another playthrough in the future in a year or so after I've figured all this out, and then uh, do it a little bit more optimized. Right now, I'm just trying to figure everything out. So, like I said, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you like to see, subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified to upload videos and schedule streams. Please leave me comments. Try not to be too spoilery. But tell me if I'm really doing something really radically crazy and stuff like that because, it, number one, it helps me try and figure out how to play the game. And number two, um, it gets it out there in front of more people in YouTube because of the way the whole algorithm works. So more comments, the better. All right. All right. I'm Gen608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.